when we open the Nows programming platform, we can see a page as shown below. The menu bar above the page contains language, file, AI, a place to change the file name, save, tutorials, toolbox, and my account. Among them, you need to pay attention to the following toolbars. File contains for functions, new block coding, new Python coding, load from your computer, and save to the local. Press AI, and you will see the drop-down menu, which includes Tiny ML model. It is the entrance to create embedded machine learning models, which we will explain later. Tutorials is the entrance to cases. Toolbox has three functions, firmware upgrade, restore setting, and application download. In addition, after registering an account in the My Account, we can save personally written programs into our own online account for easy recall anytime and anywhere. When registering an account to ensure network security, we need to set an appropriate account name and password. On the right side of the page, there are mainly three functions, equipment, variable monitor, and Python preview. The equipment is mainly used to modify the ID number of the servo. In the variable monitor, you can mainly see the variables or lists used in programming. The Python preview function can help us become familiar with the corresponding Python text program that will be used after completing the graphical programming. Here you need to pay special attention to how to modify the servo ID. Now's robot uses the rotation of two Now's servos to rotate the wheels, and then cooperates with a universal wheel to control the Now's robot's forward, backward, left and right turns. Now's servo should have its own ID. During programming, the rotation speed and direction of the servo and tires can be controlled by the corresponding ID, allowing the robot to move freely in different directions. After turning on the Now's robot, you can see the corresponding ID on the inside of each now servo. The IDs of the two servos may be the same or they may be different. Note that when two servos have the same ID, only one ID will appear in equipment. Now, you first need to disconnect one now servo. Change the ID of the connected now servo to a different ID, and then connect the other servo for modifications. 